Well, this morning, the NTSB is investigating the cause of a deadly plane crash in Murray County, and that is where we find GMC Weekend's Alex George. She spoke to the sheriff this morning. She brings us a live update. Alex, what can you tell us? Good morning, Kayla. I'm here at off of uh, Old Highway 411 on Piney Hill, but what you can see behind me is the path where the plane took. There's a little bit of debris here, and the plane actually went up this way. NTSB has just arrived, so we'll be looking forward to getting you more footage of what that debris looks like. It has been confirmed that there were four fatalities. At this time, those names have not been released until the family is able to know their identities as well. So, as I said, this morning, investigators are taking to a look for what caused it, but according to Murray County Sheriff Gary Langford, the plane was a twin engine coming from Tennessee. He tells us that it looks like the plane separated in midair, leaving debris scattered around a wide area. Langford says that two of those people were strapped into the plane when it crashed, and the other two bodies were found about 300 feet from the plane. I was just standing on my porch talking to my mother, and I looked up in the sky and saw the plane. But it didn't look, it looked like a plane at the time, but and it just caught on fire and smoke everywhere and debris started flying, and it hit the ground. It was bad. I've never been that scared in my life. Because of the, how close it was to our house, I felt like pieces of the plane were about to hit the house. As I said, NTSB has arrived and we'll be getting you more information about the debris that's up there. And as soon as we know anything about the families, we'll make sure to tell you that as well. For now in Georgia, Alex George, News Channel 9. Alex, thanks so much for that reporting. Again, four people died in that plane crash. We'll let you know as we get more information in.